going on guys this is twister don coming at you again with another episode of dark souls 2 pvp this time we're doing some random invasions again trying out the black knight great sword trying out the black dragon great sword and trying out some deal katana bleed slash poison and uh have a few matches here showing these weapons some of the things I realize when it comes to these weapons is uh, I wanted to try the black not great sword just because it scales with fire and I was gonna see how it does if you know put some points in the intelligence see if you can get it some scaling and then also have the forbidden sun uh, very powerful spell in your arsenal as well it works out pretty good I don't like the great sword moveset as much as I do the katana however uh, did try the black, black dragon great sword just because it reminded me of the fury sword and I uh, really really enjoyed using it but it like like I said before it doesn't seem to be as good as the katana moveset for me at least in this scenario here I'm dual wielding black knight great sword a black knight great sword with a black dragon great sword and it hits pretty pretty hard probably about 600 damage a pop however it it does drain the stamina so if you've only got 20 endurance if you're one of those people that likes to end your build with 20 endurance you may not want to go this way so it's just it's just me trying some different stuff here and when it comes to the dual poison bleed katanas i think i went ahead and up two manslayers made them both bleed and made them uh, have the poison effect that you get with the plus five and equip the rat ring so I had poison and bleed which it was pretty good actually probably wasn't great but it was at least halfway decent so that is the majority of what you'll see here in this video is just me showcasing those setups here I'm using the washing pole with a fire setup I've got a uh, flame weapon and forbidden sun of course, the Hexer's Hood gives you another spell slot. This setup here is actually a pyromancy setup, I guess you would say. Not necessarily all the pyromancies, but Forbidden Sun and Flame Weapon, maybe Flame Swath. Because trying to treat the Forbidden Sun if, as it was great combustion on Dark Souls, where if you could follow up off of Flame Swath, I was trying to treat Flame Swath as a great fireball, a great chaos fireball, and then follow up with a Forbidden Sun to maybe a R1. Didn't really work out for me. I guess just because you get stunned by anything. I mean, I was fighting a guy earlier who he had a, a fucking Avalon and just murdered me. I think he had two of them actually, and I couldn't even escape those stun locks. And it's silly because I get stunned by a throwing dagger. I mean, you get stunned by anything on this game, so you just got to be careful in what you do. Um, the flame weapon setup, you know, I've altered it a little bit. I've done this and that with it. And then I have the pure deck setup that you'll see at the end of this video, which I've messed around with a little bit and altered it. And then, of course, you've got the hex setup. And they all seem pretty, pretty effective. Even the deck setup with the poison bleed buildup is is uh it's, it's good i mean i mean i'm not taking it too serious i'm not taking the pvp too serious right now excuse me um the bleed poison setup i actually had the dual poison setup where you had two poison manslayers and you can just fucking poison somebody in two hits pretty much two dual wield hits i mean that was pretty pretty effective and then i decided to go the bleed way which it would take more than two hits there obviously but the bleed was uh, a way of spamming the R1 and still getting damage out of a dex weapon you know you have trouble getting damage out of a dex weapon unless you do something like buff it or something or imbue it um, but the bleed was actually getting me some damage there uh, I, I didn't I didn't see the stamina drain as uh, I think I think the bleed weapons don't they do a stamina drain 50% or something um, I didn't see that applying effectively for me, however it might for you, so I don't know. But the main thing about these weapons is the 
black dragon greatsword has no scaling whatsoever so if you wanted to make it fire you would have a pretty good scaling off the fire you can make your weapon 25 16 strength dexterity I mean it's okay if you like the greatsword moveset it's definitely got some spamming abilities the black knight greatsword has some scaling in the fire department but it seemed like even though it did have scaling in the fire department the black dragon greatsword always came out ahead on damage when I was making my build so the movesets of each other are so alike I actually like the black dragon greatsword better because it kinda has a more back and forth movement um, I don't have I wanted to get the black dragon longsword just to see what it looked like and stuff and I, I don't I don't really feel like farming anything after you know fighting the red phantom on the on the uh, Belfire soul um you know fighting that red phantom that spawns and gives you the berserker blade after after which i fought him over and over and over i kind of it kind of burned me out on farming so i didn't really feel like farming the black dragon sword so here i am with the uh dual man slayer poison imbued weapons and i mean these weapons will poison you in a heartbeat i'm not even lying these weapons will poison you and um uh, of course, I mean, I don't know if you have uh, items to relieve poison or if you have maybe the poison ring on. It, it probably wouldn't be that hard to fight. I mean, to me, I think I think buffs are the way to go if you're really wanting to win every match. Um, I'm not sure what buff is the best. I mean, the resonant weapon gives you a very good buff, a lot of damage. The flame weapon gives you a very good buff uh, with some better options in your stat um, I guess your stat allocation the crystal magic weapon you have um, the ability to I guess use any of the intelligence spells that you want I'm not really impressed by any of them I, can't, I tend to get hit by some laggy homing crystal soul mass you know some of the guys that I fight that, that just I've been demolished by our the guys that use the pursuers I think it's called what affinity on this bit on this game and they have like three it takes like three what three attunement slots to use affinity but you gotta have a high amount of intelligence or something to, to have the amount of orbs that they have above their head so the amount of orbs they have above their head is they're definitely high level the people that I'm fighting because not only they're using that, you know, they're buffing their weapon, and they're using all these other spells. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. But I mean, according to the strategy guide, you got to have a, a certain amount of intelligence to have a certain amount of orbs. I know these people that I fought had the max amount, so they're using that and they're throwing spells at you, and then they're rushing you with a moonlight greatsword that's buffed. Those guys are pretty hard to deal with. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my plans will be for for that. But, uh, I mean, I, I really don't care, honestly, to play that way. I'm just trying to, I'm kind of in a waiting stage right now. Kind of just trying to sit back and feel, feel out what's going on, what's going to be good, what's not going to be good. And, uh, I'm not really playing too serious right now, you know. I'm not saying I won't get serious as the game is serious, but... To right now, you know, I, I kind of like Dark Souls 1 PvP better because it seems like the controls are much tighter, and that's what made the difference for me. It seems like, though, the technique in Dark Souls 2 is not there yet. You know, in Dark Souls 1, we had we had the ability to counter these R1 spammers, and right now it just come down it's come down to I guess whoever gets the most R1s. And you can call it spacing, or you can call it whatever you want to call it, timing. You can call it any kind of technique you want to call it. But to me, ultimately, it's whoever gets the most R1s off. And I've been backstabbing a lot of people. That's just because they're using really telegraphic stuff and really slow stuff that you can roll BS but if you pit some of the items that counter or like the jester's robe or whatever ironclad armor that eliminates backstabs then you ain't got nothing to worry about there 
ring of thorns all that stuff is super powerful man you just gotta quip it and go with it um so I've noticed a trend of people trying to do set up parries set up parry videos set up parries trying to and that might be the next thing to where we counter these R1 spammers and not to say that I'm not an R1 spammer or you're not an R1 spammer it's like I said whoever gets the most R1s in seems to win and there is the case of you know magic and laggy magic but most of the time magic is very avoidable however it's some of the magic combinations I've had trouble with but you just I guess I think agility has a lot to do with uh, some of the stuff I had a 110 agility build where I could seems like I could roll through them pursuers I'm having a hard time on this you know 1620 adaptability giving me 90 something agility I'm having a hard time rolling through some of this stuff I don't know if I'm timing or rolling wrong or, or what it is but you know maybe high agility and then the ability to have a good shield set up parry some of these guys learn the parry timing on all the weapons that might be something that uh, is in the evolution of the future PvP for this game but like I said right now we're all just kinda kinda lost I'm, I mean I'm kinda pissed off about pyromancy I'm not gonna lie I'm kinda pissed off that I can't have these you know fancy pyroma pyromancy combinations and these fancy fire tempest and all that stuff just because of the it seems like the controls are limiting me from doing such they're limiting me from uh, you know all the fancy pyromancies that I use in Dark Souls 1 which I, I don't know I mean I've tried to, to fight with just pure pyromancy and a weapon in my right hand and it just hasn't worked out right now I mean I've tried supplementing Dark Souls 1's fireballs for flame swaths being that flame swaths are just as powerful and are more fast than the fireballs in Dark Souls 1 but it hasn't worked out but anyways guys that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned next time for another commentary I've got one coming soon for you guys so until then I will see you next time later guys